All right. I have my friend Harry. Good old Harry. Known Harry now for what? 30 years. He don't talk much though. Anyway, he's pretty skinny. You know, he's a veteran too. And uh, he's all skin and bones, you know, because uh, what we're talking today is about what we're talking today about is, I'm not going to be doing any talking, I'm going to just play it. For this thing I found in military time. Active duty families, Congress approved a new go. benefit in 2023, the basic needs allowance for troops with dependents whose gross household income falls below 130% of the federal poverty level depending on family size and location. According to the Government Accountability Office, more than 280,000 service members reported food insecurity in 2019 but just 22,000 were using SNAP. Senators Tammy Duckworth, D. Ill, and Lisa Murkowski, Republican Alaska, reintroduced a bill this year that would exclude the military's basic allowance for housing from income calculations used to determine eligibility for SNAP a barrier the senators say keeps military families from getting needed assistance. Similar legislation has been introduced in the House by Representative Jimmy Panetta, Democrat, California. The RAND paper noted that veterans may not apply for SNAP because they were denied the benefit while serving on active duty as a result of the inclusion of BA in their incomes and recommended that states reduce potential eligibility barriers, such as income limits, to encourage SNAP participation among veterans, particularly those who are older or unable to work because of a disability. The authors also recommended that the VA increase food insecurity screenings for veterans who receive VA health care and encourage states to adopt policies that encourage participation in SNAP. They also recommended that the VA, the Department of Agriculture, which runs SNAP, and the Department of Defense work together to identify and support veterans experiencing hunger. There are many opportunities to improve support for You can go, you can go, you don't have to be a veteran or anything, you can just go to any pantry and get food. In America, you could drive to any pantry, any church, just about every church out there has a pantry, and they uh, they they don't ask you for anything. I mean, just uh, maybe a driver's license. That's if you're driving. A lot of people don't even show any ID because they don't have any ID. But you, <laughs> I mean, there's tons of places you can get food at. You know, uh, this article, let me see what else they got to say, but this article is kind of fishy. Food insecure veterans and prevent at-risk groups of veterans from falling through the cracks when it comes to safety net programs, including SNAP, they wrote. Patricia Kime can be reached at patricia.kime at military.com. back, but keep the equipment as my gift. All right, there you go. Shut up, Carl. All right, dude, so that's what's happening there.